Hello, Assalamu alaikum. I hope you guys are doing well. This is Electrical Machines Lab. And this is what we are going to do. By using MATLAB Simulink. Now, you might have already used MATLAB in uh, recent courses. Um, in this video, we will be uh, exploring how MATLAB Simulink works. So, let's get started with MATLAB Simulink. Okay, go in the drop down menu and select Simulink model. From this, you have to select blank model. It's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Yeah, it's slow. Well, uh, this is our lab outline. These are the experiments that we are going to perform on MATLAB Simulink. Uh, this lab outline is uh, already uploaded on the LMS. Uh, and I have also uploaded the uh, revised lab uh, according to the MATLAB Simulink. Okay, so this is our working environment of MATLAB Simulink and this is the library browser from where you can get the components. Okay, uh, one thing you have to be careful about is that when you install MATLAB make sure that you have selected these toolboxes these are basically different toolboxes and uh, you're not required to have all these toolboxes but you must have simscape this one simscape toolbox you must have this one because uh, the components that we require in the electrical machines lab um, uses this uh, toolbox so you have to definitely install this one when you are uh, installing this MATLAB software. Okay, anyways. So, okay, let's make a simple uh, circuit. And uh, to make that circuit, uh, we will be needing a voltage source. Here is the voltage source. Add to the block to the model, and we need some RLC branch, parallel series, and these are the three phases. One for, uh, for now, we are making a single phase circuit, so we just need this one. Okay, we also need to measure voltage. So voltage measurement and this is the voltage measurement uh, we also want to measure current for that we need an emitter and this is the current measurement uh, we all don't we also need some scopes okay so here we have all our components let's arrange them and make a circuit okay You can select a component and press delete. Okay. That's it. Uh, you can double click any component and it will display the properties. Uh, for example, this block has a voltage parameter, the amplitude let's say to 30 volts 
phase difference let's say zero frequency let's say 50 hertz okay and uh, this rlc branch we can select only r l c there are different uh, options available let's say we want to have an rl circuit uh, let's say 100 ohms uh, see okay now we want to measure current uh, you know that current is measured in series so we have to break the path that's it so here we broke the path and connected the emitter in series and uh, you know that voltage is measured across so we have to place it one end here and second end here that's it okay now see this voltage or this current you have to connect it to any scope so voltage is connected to this scope we need another so just control c and then press control v uh, here to this scope okay you can also name them this is our voltage so let's name it voltage this one is current okay now this is the simulation time doesn't really matter okay let's say five seconds Okay, now run okay it's working two percent complete it's compiling compiling and we have got some error it says the diagram must contain a power oh check this one the diagram must contain a power UI block now whenever we use components from the same power library you know we use components from this library simscape so whenever we use any component from the simscape library then we have to use the power GUI block this is basically a solver it solves the circuit this one you just have to place it in your VI no, anywhere doesn't really matter it just have to be here that's it if it's not here TV uh, your program is not going to be compiled it's compiling it's compiling and uh, that's it okay it's it's ready now you can double click on the scope and here you can see this is the voltage uh, you can click this fit screen or you can zoom in press this zoom in button and then select the area you want to zoom in here you can zoom in further here so we have got a sine wave of around 230 volts pressing this button will fit to screen mode okay this is the voltage and uh, this one is the current waveform Let's zoom in. Uh, this is the current map. 
that waveform. Okay, so this is how we make uh, simple circuits on Simulink. Um, you can also do okay you can do you can use a simple scope for example double click this go to the settings and uh, here you can see number of number of input ports you can select as many as you want for example let's say we want to have two okay now it has two ports see connected here I'll run the simulation again here we are as you can see there is also a current waveform this one you can also change the colors of these uh, waveforms you can also change the colors of the background you can do all kind of things here okay let's uh, explore the simscape library okay this is the simscape library uh, electrical power systems specialized power systems okay electric drives fundamental block machines here as you can see we have uh, built-in machines DC machine uh, this is induction machine and uh, this is synchronous machine stepper motor switch reluctance motor we have a wide range of machines here okay you have to be careful about one thing uh, there are basically two kind of components here uh, you will find some components are in blue color and some are in black color for example check this this one is blue in color and this one is black in color so they um, they are different basically this one is from different library this one is from different library and they are not compatible with each other uh, for example if you want to let's try to connect this one you know see it's not connecting with this circuit because it's not compatible with these uh, components because it's from the different library so if it happens you have to select a different component component the blue ones are not compatible with the black ones so be careful about that okay this is uh, that's it this was a little introduction about MATLAB Simulink uh, in the next video we will be uh, doing lab lab number one lab number one is basically a polarity test and uh, turns ratio test we are going to perform two tests uh, uh, regarding to the transformer so see you in the next video Allah Hafiz.